Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the Dishon Program with Jesus TV. We're continuing right here with the Android projects, only that today we're going to look at Xamarin Android, right? We're not going to uh, look at the... Of course, this project we had uh, looked at it in Java uh, with the Android Studio. Today we're going to look at it with Xamarin, that is C Sharp, of course, with Visual Studio. So, it's a simple project right here to sort data, okay? Just sorting data in a list view. You click a button right here, we toggle between the ascending and of course descending, sorting between ascending and descending. It's actually a very simple project right here. We're just going to be using, of course, our sorting our data uh, in our collection and then in our array list and then of course binding it right here to our list view. So as you can see by default, it's sorted actually in an ascending manner. Then of course we can simply toggle between descending and of course ascending. Now, if you want to see this, uh, the version of this tutorial for a grid view, uh, we had prepared that particular tutorial. We're also going to do one, of course, for list view, no, for recycler view, okay? Uh, using right here Xamarin. So, this is a Xamarin project, you're using C Sharp right here. Join me, we'll get started. Alright, we said this is a Visual Studio, this is a Xamarin Android project right here. So, we're going to use, of course, Visual Studio as our IDE. No, I'll assume you guys are able to create a project of course in Visual Studio, alright? So, once you've created the project, uh, go over to our main.xml, then this add uh, this uh, code right here. We're including the link below so you guys can be able to copy paste at the code. Now, as you can see, it's actually quite simple. At the root, it's simply an XML file right here. Our main uh, XML file of course for our layout okay for our main activity right here so this is what shall get inflated of course to our main activity so as you can see at the root we have the linear layout its orientation of course is vertical we're giving it a custom uh, background color right here then the layout width as well as the layout height they are matching the parent okay they're going to uh, match the parent right here then of course inside our linear layout we have our list view now the list view, the text color, you can see, we're customizing the text color as well as the background color. Layout width is going to match parent, uh, layout height is going to wrap uh, uh, content. Now, in fact, this one should not be here. The number of columns, this is only applicable, of course, to uh, the grid view. Of course, we give a uh, list view an ID, for me I'm calling it LV. Then, of course, we have our button, the sort button right here. Of course, we also give it an ID. Now, when the button is clicked, we're going to be able to sort our data. So, let's come right here to our uh, code. As you can see, we have right our main activity. It's deriving, of course, from activity. Then, list view is we have two views right here. The list view as well as a button right here. Okay. Then we have this read-only uh, string array that we're calling space graphs. It's going to contain, of course, all the space crafts that we're going to have in our list view, okay, that we're going to bind in our list view. Now, we have this boolean right here that we're calling ascending. By default, we are having it to true. So, uh, when we run our project, our data is going to be uh, sorted in ascending order by default, all right? Inside our own create method, of course, we call this dot initialize views, which is going to initialize our views simply referencing them from our layout okay list view right here find view by id and then of course button also find view by id resource.id and uh, sort uh, button that's it then this the sort data now sort data as you can see is taking the variable that we call ascending right here now take note that that variable because by default is true so if you come right here it's going to take uh, this boolean right here then it's going to check if ascending that is if true then of course array.sort now array.sort right here of course by default is going to sort to an ascending order otherwise array.reverse right so if it's true we're going to sort of course in ascending order if it is false we're going to reverse which is actually sorting in a descending manner okay then of course we call the populate just to bind our data of course to our list view so lv dot adapter new array adapter right here 
okay so as you can see we are simply sorting and reversing our data using a simple array now check note once the sort button is clicked we call the sort data passing in of course our variable then of course we're going to negate uh, our variable right here this dot ascending equal to not ascending of it so we're simply neg negating it once we've sorted if it is true we negate it to false okay if it was ascending we negate it to descending does it guys does it go ahead run the project and of course we are including the source code uh, in the link below so you guys will be able to download it and run it in your android studio in your visual studio so guys just proceed over to the link we've left below of course it's going to lead you to our website kamfosha.info we're going to be able to download the source code of course we have the instructions for of course importing it if you are complete a uh, beginner all right here you can see there's a direct link right here you go simply navigate this particular url then of course download uh, the project source and then of course import into our ide does it take care i'll catch you in the next class